Imagine you're deep into an altar trail run, the sun blazing high above, casting its blistering heat on your shoulders. The trail went through rocky terrain, dense forests and steep hills, and the air is thick with humidity. Every breath feels like you're inhaling warm air from an oven. You push forward, your body drenched in sweat, every muscle aching. This is where your preparation, especially hydration, becomes critical because in trail running, particularly ultra trail events, water isn't just important, it's essential to survival. Imagine you're 40 kilometers into a race and you've neglected to drink enough water. Your mouth is dry and your body feels sluggish. You're dizzy, your skin feels hot to the touch, and the trail ahead seems endless. This is your body sending you warning signs. The human body is resilient, but it has limits. Without water, these limits are quickly reached. Rise on trails they tread Through rugged peaks where legends spread Each climb a test, each mile a fight In my power's heart they chase the light Sweat and tears, their badges worn Feet keep moving through early morn Nature's chorus guides their way Every step, a new dawn's ray Ultra trail, my power strong In their hearts, the journey song As Jostel Vegas prepares to tackle the grueling 86-kilometer divine conquest an epic journey that will take him from Apawa to the infamous Mount Agiptip in Libuna, Bukidnan and back. I find myself on a different yet equally personal path while just faces the mountains and distances that you dares to challenge. I will pursue the 11-kilometer eagle's ascent, a test of my grit, patience and courage. The contrast between our races is stark. He will push the very limits of endurance while mine offer its own band of challenge, demanding focus and perseverance on the step rugged trails, yet in both there is the common thread of determination. For me, it's about embracing the trail, meeting the obstacles head on, and discovering the strength within. Each step will carry its weight, but as I prefer to set up on my journey, I am reminded that every race, whether 11 kilometers or 86, is as much about mental fortitude as it is about physical ability. The Divine Conquest is an extraordinary 86 km trail run that wins through some of the most breathtaking landscapes, yet challenged runner to their core. Taking place on the night of October 19, 2024, the race kicks off at 10 p.m. at the iconic Mapawa Nature Park with its rolling hills and expansive panoramic vistas seating the stage. However, this isn't just a run to admire nature. The course is grueling, a test participants with relentless uphill climbs, leading to the infamous Mount Agiptip in Libuna Bukidnon, a pinnacle of endurance. With a 24 cut of time, the race features nine aid stations to sustain runners along with one crucial drop bag station. For those pushing through, the challenge intensifies with two critical cut-off points. The first comes at the 50km mark at Hidden Creek in Kiliog Bukidnon. Here, runners must reach the station by exactly 12 noon on October 20, giving them 14 hours to cover just over half the distance. The second cut of looms at the 70 kilometers mark at Bigaan Meeting Hall with a strict deadline of 5 p.m. 19 hours into the race. Those unable to make these cut-offs are handed a DNF or did not finish, a tough reality for even the most seasoned athletes, the course not only demands immense physical endurance but also a high level of mental toughness. As each hill, every trail and every hour, the thick way is a test of one's grit and determination. 
On the other hand, the Eagle's ascent, a challenging 11-kilometer trail, demands just as much grit, patience, and courage. As an Eagle runner, I must navigate a winding and treacherous path through dense jungle and rolling hills. Along the way, three aid stations will offer relief, helping me push forward to the finish. The legendary heat of Mapawa Nature Park is a force to reckon with. Lingered so long, and it will catch you off guard, testing not just your endurance but your ability to push through discomfort to claim victory. We go 15, 40, 30, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! The race kick off with a grand 86 km divine compass, a route that would see runners ascending treacherous peaks, navigating dense forests, and cruising rapid streams. The course was not just about distance but elevation. It demanded technical skill, mental fortitude, and unyielding spirit to complete. Among the racers stood Justo Rodriguez, an ultra trail runner who had come to Mapawa seeking something more than just another race. For him, the ultra trail was a test of his own limits, a proving ground for his warrior spirit. The sound of the countdown in the starting line echoed through the valley as Just Rodriguez along with 13 of his fellow racers surged forward. The trail immediately won through thick vegetation, then even terrain, threatening to trip up anyone not paying attention. Just Rodriguez, heart pounding in his chest, his breath coming in control burst as he found this rhythm. He trained for this moment for months, but no amount of preparation could replicate the row and tame energy of the trail. Neon orange. The air hums with energy, a shared anticipation hanging thick as 271 of us stand shoulder to shoulder at the starting line of the 11km Eagle's Ascent. Today we are not just runners, we're Eagle warriors, ready to soar to the rugged challenging terrain ahead. The race name itself has a way of steering something primal in each of us, evoking both strength and grace. I feel my heart pounding, but it's not just nerves, there's also 
an undeniable excitement, a readiness to see what I made of out there on the course. The crowd around me is a flurry of last-minute adjustments. I glance around and see my fellow runners double-checking their gear, tightening shoelaces, adjusting hydration packs, or squeezing in a few extra stretches. There's a shared focus, a collective awareness of the challenge ahead. We all know this isn't just about speed, it's about endurance, mental toughness, and respect for the terrain. For some, it's the competition that fuels them while others are here to prove something to themselves. For me, it's a blend of both. My mind drifts momentarily to my personal goals. Finish strong, enjoy the views, learn from the experience. These are the thoughts that echo in my head like a mantra. I want to push myself, but not so much that I forget to savor the beauty of a trail. Every step is an opportunity to grow, not just as a runner, but as someone learning to embrace both the highs and lows of the journey. As the morning wore on, the pack thinned out and Jos Rodriguez found himself running alone, surrounded by nothing but the sounds of nature. The birds chirped and the wind rustled the leaves in the trees. For a moment, it was peaceful, but the trail had no intention of remaining kind. Soon, the path stiffened and the one steady pace became a grueling march uphill.
The first aid station came and went, and I barely registered Vienna. Quick glance, my legs still felt good, and I knew I had plenty left in the tank, but the middle section of the race blurred into something more primal, sweet breath and steady rhythm of my footstep. Hitting the ground, there were moments of smiles shared with fellow runners as we overtook each other, exchanging nods of encouragement. When I finally crested the hill, the rush of victory coursed through me. My legs felt like jelly, but the view from after, the knowledge that I had conquered the climb, made it all worth it. I allowed myself a moment to soak it all in, heart pounding, chest heaving, and then I started the final descent. My body was running on instinct, my mind barely registering the trail as it twisted and turned. But through the exhaustion, there was a joy, the kind that comes from knowing you push yourself beyond what you thought you could do. As I stood there, catching my breath, I was surrounded by others who had shared in the same struggle, the same triumph. There were high fives, pats on the back, and a palpable sense of camaraderie. We had all run our own phrases, faced our own battles, out there on a the trail, but in the end, we had finished it together.
The 11 km trail run wasn't just about the physical challenge, it was about connecting with nature, feeling the resilience of my own body, and embracing the thrill of exploration, the forest, the hills, the wildlife, and even the grueling climbs. They all came together to remind me why I love the trails. There's something raw and pure about it, something that takes you out of the everyday and places you in the moment, reminding you just how alive you are. Warriors rise, never kneel Straight to stone, hearts of steel Victory in every cry The stars will guide us to the sky Victory in every cry Stars will guide us to the sky 